All right, welcome, welcome to uh, the mountain version of uh, a gaming week or weekend or several days as the case may be. Let's have an initial look at this MPT scenario, which is uh, scenario, scenario number 22 from the BAOR um, uh, scenario playbook. And of course, the first snafu in my uh, sol you know, uh, mountain solitude playthrough is, I read that as a nine, and uh, it is a nine. And what I meant to bring was a six. I need map six, which has a, a hill uh, in the middle here. So uh, we're, we're making some adjustments uh, and we're playing a, uh, a different scenario. Let's uh, give you the victory conditions here so we can have a look at it. The, and I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll snap them off real quick and then we'll, here's, here's the maps as they should have been. So you can see the big hill in the middle here, right? Uh, defensive terrain. This is where uh, either force can come in from either side. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then, uh, so that should have been map six. And then with the uh, victory condition is uh, controlling all the bridges that, that run along here. And the good news is I brought map 23 with me. <laughs> Genius. I got that bit right. And map 21, I got that right as well. Uh, so it's really a meeting engagement. And I haven't played an MBT meeting engagement for a long time. So this could be pretty cool. Uh, we roll off to see who sets up first on the map. And then the other side will, uh, they'll choose their map side, I guess. And then they will also... Uh, they will also uh, then set up and the other guys will come on on the opposite side of the map and uh, or will set up within three hexes on the opposite side of the map and then the, the goal is for both sides to uh, try and capture these uh, these bridges which is pretty neat all right so when we look at the force mix here we've got the missile enabled uh, I think they're called stabbers aren't they uh, yeah stabber 100, 100 uh, millimeter uh, CE based missiles, uh, missile-capable uh, units on the T-62s, that makes them a pretty formidable piece of equipment uh, relative, relative to the, the Chieftain Mark 11. And we'll have a look at the, the stats in a second because that's going to drive, pretty, pretty much drive the tactics. Now, playing solo, I'm probably going to try and, and use, you know, the, the bare, at least the bare bones of Soviet doctrine to drive their decision-making cycles. And we'll kind of go, we'll, we'll talk about that as we play more, if I do some more videos on this. Uh, we, we've got um, Saxhorn RPG-22s as well with these infantry-based units being carried in BTR-70s. We've got BRDM-2s uh, with an ATGM uh, capability, which is going to be a spandrel, 135 millimeter. Those suckers have a penetration of 120. Really, uh, uh, an offensive weapon in uh, <laughs> in all the ways that you can think of the word offensive. Uh, so, really nasty. Uh, point blank uh, range is 40. All right, uh, just killer. All right, so 40 hexes are just going to mess you up. They also have a saga uh, saga unit, uh, saga capability as well. You know, that's a, a penetration of 92. So either or, or, or both of those uh, weapons platforms will, will do some damage. So that's the Soviet forces. And like I said, we've got to capture these, uh, these bridges here that run through the, the middle of the map. Uh, I'm looking here, it's 15 turn scenario. That's the other useful information that should be noted now if you don't the way i'm reading the v, the vcs you have to capture all of the bridges to accrue the 100 vps so this could very well end up being uh who who knocks out the most uh units uh and then we'll have to work out the the unit vps oh, i'm just going to count up you know who shot the most dudes right and tanks count for more than btrs type of thing we'll go we'll go with it like that now uh, let's see. So on the Allied uh, or NATO side, put this down. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. All right. On the NATO side, we can see six Chieftain Mark IIs, 
some a couple of scorpions for recon, and then also here we've got uh, basically ATGM based units to uh, you know try and hold or position themselves on the map and and, and be a threat. So that's all good. The, the, the adjustment we're going to need to make is that with this scenario, there was supposed to be some somewhat more mountainous terrain or hilly terrain in the middle. So it's going to make it potentially a little, a little bit difficult for one side or the other on the approach and probably drive the approach uh, through, through here, given there's not a lot of cover here. Uh, secondarily, you know, the, who, whichever side takes this set of uh, terrain is going to have a dis distinct advantage when it comes to Overwatch. So if I can set, for instance, uh, these BRDM2 guys with the ATGM weapons platforms on these hills, uh, that's going to that's gonna give them a great field of fire. And then uh, it'll be, uh, you know, how do we, how do we leverage the, the tanks? to be last through these hexes here. I don't know why there's two of those there. Uh, be last through those hexes there and uh, uh, take control of all these various bridges. And there are, there are a number of them. So there's two, four, six, seven bridges that need to be captured. That's a pretty substantial and hefty uh, amount of, un of uh, uh, physical locations to capture with four, seven, seven tanks and four recon uh, BRDM2s and the BTRs with the infantry, you know, maybe we can infiltrate them into here and uh, try and, you know, uh, capture, at least capture these four and then maybe focus the infantry, the tanks on trying to capture these in the, the more open terrain. I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's better to have the Soviet infantry approach uh, from one side or the other capture these and then hunker down in this rough terrain or these woods here uh, and then you know pop off uh, shots as the as the NATO forces arrive so interesting we'll have to think through that I'll probably write up some rough orders for both sides just so we got, kind of got a general plan and then we'll adapt on the fly you know uh, I don't know so uh, in terms of initiative I just rolled for that and uh, the uh, NATO forces rolled highest so they get to uh, they get to come on or, or or set up second, but the other force will uh, get to uh, will get to choose which side they set up on. So I'll have to think about that and work out whether it's best for the Soviets to, to set up here or here. I'm thinking this doesn't look very attractive now, given that we've lost this higher terrain from me bringing the wrong map. Um, Good positioning here but it, I don't have any lines of sight into any of this terrain so I think the Soviets will probably take this terrain and work out how they uh, they make the approach across this this terrain here maybe quick run through here might be uh, might be ideal given that the enemy is going to have to come on this side set up on this side within uh, I think three hexes is what it says the other four sets up second in the area, not selected above no more than three hexes from the edge. Yeah, so three hexes from the edge here. Well, that's gonna. This is going to be pretty interesting and fun. All right, we'll catch up soon. Ciao.